Hi, we've just talked about how to basically set up your bobber and jig setup when fishing for steelhead. Now I'd like to talk more in detail about the different types of bobbers you can use. And my general principle is I like to use the smallest bobber possible when, when steelhead fishing. And so as you can see here, there's a whole variety of bobbers you can use when fishing. And my general philosophy is use as light a bobber as you can when fishing for steelhead. And the reason why is a steelhead is very, can bite very subtle at times. So sometimes all you'll see is your bobber shake side to side, or it may just pop up a little bit or just go down. So with smaller bobbers, it's easier to detect the hit. However, sometimes we have to fish a long ways away or we want to cast a long ways and then we're forced to use these larger bobbers. And this will allow us to see hits. Um, one of the nice things that I like to have in a bobber is to have two tones of color. Um, that way we can see, if, say, if the bobber is floating right at this back black line, if, uh, if a steelhead comes underneath and takes a jig up, it will actually rise up and you can see that white appear. Or if it goes down a little bit, you can see that black disappear. So these two tones actually make it easier to see hits. Um, we also have types, uh, we have these little stems that you can actually st stack bobbers on top of. It will actually allow you to make your bobbers more buoyant or less buoyant. So you can just take it off like this or you can just put it back on. Um, Depending, again, if you can't see your bobber enough, you can just adjust it accordingly. So, another thing to realize when we're bobber fishing is you want it to float appropriately. Ideally, you want the bobber to float right in the middle. Again, because sometimes the bobber, if it rises, you can see the hit, or if it, if it sinks, it can see a hit. If you have so much weight on it that only the top part of the bobber is showing, a little wave may make it go under, um, and, you, and it's hard to tell, determine if you're getting a hit. So the way to help make it sure you, your bobber is floating the right depth is based on the type of sinkers you put on. So you can put a whole variety of sinkers. Say you, you put one of these sinkers on and your bobber still is floating too high, you can add a uh, weights. One of the type of weights is these twist on weights. You just put it on your string and twist it on. You can put split shot on. Another thing to think about is some of these bobbers have weights in them and some of them don't. And the beauty about bobbers with weights in them, this one actually has a weight in the bottom of it and it will allow you actually to cast farther. So if you need to cast way out there to get to the hole, you usually want to go with these weighted bobbers. So these actually three here have weights in them and these ones here don't have weights in them. And sometimes um, there are benefits to having weights or not having weights. Another thing to think about is if you need to cast a long ways, sometimes you want to get these more aerodynamic bobbers. They actually fly a lot better and you can cast a lot farther. So again, think about the situation you're in, how far you want to cast, how deep you want to fish. That will help you choose on the type of bobber you're going to use.